Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is another quick video to uh, do basically a questions and answer. Uh, I get regular questions from viewers about what's uh, coming up with the um, Windows 10 April 2019 update. So <clears throat> we'll um, be um, checking out these uh, questions in this video and uh, try to answer the best that we can. So first question uh, and I don't know where you guys got the information, but uh, there's a few of you out there that said that uh, they were uh, postponing April 2019 update for some reason, obscure reason of um, because the uh, rollout of the October 2018 update isn't going well. Uh, no, they're not. The April 2019 update is still going to be released in April. And unless there's some kind of big glitch like the October 2018 update had at first, it's going to start rolling out sometime next month, uh, roughly a month from now. Now, uh, the exact date, like, um, we don't know. You know, it's 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 one of those mysteries. They always announce this quite uh, at the last minute. But you can maybe think of the Patch Tuesday of April. It happens that the, um, it happened a couple of times where they released a version of Windows on the same day as the security updates for uh, the month. So sometime in April, and then, you know, remember that you're not all going to get it at the same time. It will be rolling out in waves. So at some point, you will get it on your machine. Once again, do not, um, you know, force any Windows 10 updates. Let let me do that. I'll, I'll be the one taking the risks for you guys. Um, you also asked when I will review it. I'm very soon to review it. I'm just waiting for that moment where the watermark on the bottom right of the insider previews will actually be gone. That is going to tell us that we're pretty much there and I'll be able to do the April 2019 reviews at that moment. Uh, we are pretty much um, at the end here. There's no new features when there's new insider previews and um, I think we can safely, I, I could probably safely do a review of the April 2019 update right now, but you know, you always wait for what seems to be pretty much the official uh, release. The other question that I have is um, how long or when, when do insiders get it and, and what's the delay and um, would I be able to download it and install it? Well, when the official release to the insiders will arrive of course people that would like to have it in advance and i'll be posting a video of that can at that time install it but remember we did have one of those releases and it's always that little risk here because there was one release which was i believe the fall creators update uh, that they released then suddenly something wasn't right and they had to re-release another build, which meant you had to go back in the insiders to get, once again, that other build. Uh, so, you know, when you do that, you always take a risk of possibly having to do something like that. Because remember that even though the release might seem to be the good one for insiders, it's still on the insider rings. That means if it's on the insider rings, it's still in test phase. It's still not officially released. So uh, these are little things you got to think about. As for um, the October 2018 update, I get a lot of questions. People say, hey, including a couple of people that just don't read correctly when they read posts or blog posts. So a few people uh, coming back to me um, in the past week or two saying, hey, well, you know, the, 18, 20, the October 2018 update is still blocked. They're, they're, they're still not releasing it. That's why nobody's getting it. It's not blocked. It's going well, actually. Now, since they fixed it, the um, the update is going very, very well. But remember, there's always a certain number of machines that have problems, and that is universal with every version of Windows. Even the most perfect version of Windows 10 released has a certain number of people that have issues. And it's a very complex thing. You know, some of the issues are sometimes, and, and very often, due to hardware or drivers and uh, very, very often, uh, it's not even Windows that's a problem. Is the machine itself uh, manufactured an issue, a, or it issued a buggy driver for some device, 
and machine crashes all the time and people go man say oh well look at that windows you know it's not stable it crashes it ain't windows most of the time it's drivers or it's some specific hardware in the machine much more often than windows itself so um, you know it's coming up um, and uh, we should be getting this by a month's time now a month month and a half at most we are you know march 12th today so almost mid-march already which time is just flying by and we are going to the april 2019 update and last question um that people ask is well if the insiders are testing 20h1 are we jumping over the next release this year and will uh, not have two updates yes we are still having two updates when the insiders actually have the final product here they'll very very um in, in it's probably going to be very fast where they're going to already jump to 19h2 which is the next version but there's discussion about maybe now the releases will be one major release and one minor release every year so we'll be checking that if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.